Folks, today I'm going to make a little video on how to how I built this um, frame assembly jig and uh, also how I'm going to use it to put together 10 frames. I put up a video like this already once, um, however I realize now that um, the radio is on in the background and uh, YouTube has a problem with that. So I'm making trying to make the same video roughly. For those of you that watched the first one, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to trick you into watching two videos, but uh, just I couldn't remove the audio so I forgot to make a whole new video. Um, this is real simple, y'all. It's just a square box. Um, and in the ends of the box, on each end, you cut a slot wide enough that you can slide this board all the way through. And then this little slot here is wide enough that when you're looking down on top, you can stand your frame ends up in it, just like that. I built it wide enough to do 10 frames, but you can use it, since it's wide enough to do 10, you can also use it to put five in here, or eight, whatever you wanna do. Um, and it's short enough to do mediums, which means it's also tall enough to do deeps. The deeps get a little wobbly on you up top, but it works. Um, dimensions, I don't remember offhand, uh, but like I said, just measure out, you know, take your frame piece here, measure out this width. I think it's an inch and three eighths maybe. So just make sure it's wide enough to fit 10 of them. Um, so yeah, super simple. Let me uh, put my camera down over here and uh, we'll load it up and I'll nail up 10 frames for y'all real quick like. So I think you can see pretty well there. Probably won't be able to see my head, but that's fine. Maybe I'll do a little squat down and say hi. So, get over here, grab our end pieces and just start loading them up. I've tried to find the fastest way to do this. Just kind of rough it in. And nothing's got to be perfect, just, you know what, make sure they're all facing the same direction. How about that? All bottoms down and tops up. That'll sure help you get faster. Now, you know, I told y'all in the past before, I always like to build if I can. Build versus buy. That is because I'm equipped to do so. But uh, I built, I buy these frames uh, pre-cut and unassembled for, I think they're now 82 cents a piece or something in the 100 pack. And to buy an assembled frame, it's going to cost you usually a buck fifty or so. Oops, I forgot. Sorry. So now with uh, all of them lined up here, open up my glue and uh, knock off the dried glue from prior uses because that always builds up on there. Alright, I'll put just a little dab of glue on each ear. You don't want to load this up because it's going to squish. So you just put a little, little dab on each ear to, and kind of let it run down. And when you squish your, when you put your top bar on there, it's going to squeeze it down in there the rest of the way. I found you can do this kind of little whip technique, so you never have to stop squeezing the bottle. You tip it upright, you just knock off the glob. And by the time it builds up another glob and it wants to drip, you're already moved on to the next ear. All glued up there. I mentioned in prior videos that I don't glue my frames, but I do now because what's it hurt? I, I still have yet, just for the record, I have yet to pull the top bar off the frame. It wasn't glued, but yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot longer to put a dab of glue on there and throw an extra in chance. Like I said, when you're sitting here doing this, you think set of time seems like it takes longer than it would just to nail up 10 frames, but I haven't timed myself nailing one frame. I felt like I was quick, but the, the best thing about this is that it's quick. Once you get it all set up, you know, you just run down the line as you all see nailing. It's quick then. And I think I could build a new version of it, make the tolerances a little bit tighter, and that would help a lot. I wasn't real sure. I wanted to make sure when I built this one that I wasn't oversized on it, or uh, undersized. And I felt real silly if I built it for 10 frames, not only that I was squeezing nine. So, like I said, I gave it a little bit of slop room. And I know now, <coughs> I know now I don't need that. So, all 10 in. Tap them down real tight.
trusty old nail gun. I use a trim nailer, a trim stapler. Probably better if I'd get a commercial grade of some sort, but you know what? This one does the job for right now. It's paid for. So now we're loaded up with nails. Ten frames. Here we go. Here's the fun part. Pick up on it, give her a flip, and you may have noticed I put this shim underneath this piece of flat plywood. You'll see how that comes in in just a second. So now we're upside down, all 10 frames. Grab your glue bottle again and hit all these up. And it's more important on the bottom that you don't put on too much glue because these little, you already don't have as much contact area as you do on the top bars. So just a little bit of glue goes a long way. And you really have to make sure on the bottom bars that it, the glue is on the sides, that it runs down the edges inside. Because if you just try to put it in the bottom of each valley, with these being uh, grooved bottom bars, your contact area is this right here. Whereas if you get it on the ears, your contact area is all of this and all of this. So get it on the ears. Set them around, make sure they're squared up. Here we go. I got a couple of shiners in there because I'm always trying to go fast to show off for you guys, but it's all right. They're not going to ruin anything. Now, we're all glued up. The only thing holding these frames into this box is these end bars. Slide these out. And then you can pick up your box slowly, give them a little shake. You've got 10 frames all assembled just like that. Grab your box that they're going in. Slide it right down over the top. Flips you over. And you got a fully loaded box. Now all you got to do is go in and strap in your foundation if you're going to use it. Or if you don't want to use foundation, that's up to you. Um, I personally run Right Cell uh, Foundation through Man Lake. Um, it's the heavy plastic foundation. I run that in all of my medium supers so that it has the durability to go through the extractor. And uh, in all of my brood boxes, all of my deeps, I run foundationless, and y'all can see the other videos on that, how I glue up starter strips uh, on my foundationless frames. And I found I really, I really like doing that. But like I said, for now, quick and easy, super simple way to build your own assembly jig, and it does make building frames faster, I'm sure of it. Y'all comment below and let me know if you got questions. All right, so I'm sure a couple of y'all wanted to know, so I had to check it out wanted to know whether or not I'd pre-qualify for the Frame Builders Olympics. My starting time right now was 4 minutes and 44 seconds to put together and box up 10 frames. So, I'm sure there's others that are out there faster than me, but you know what, hey, practice makes perfect. I'm going to try and try and try and be building these frames like crazy. So, you know what, maybe someday I'll get just a hair faster. Maybe I'll get down to that 4 minute mark. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's all for fun, but like I said, that's all you need. Give it a shot.